the great American game, the national pastime of millions, both young and old. The game is played with a spear known as a baseball. The cork and rubber core is carefully wrapped with yarn and covered with tough horsehide. The bat is made of carefully selected wood and perfectly balanced. The glove, or mitt, is well padded, except where the ball is caught. Baseball is usually played in a ballpark, consisting of a grandstand, bleachers, fence, and a playing field or diamond, so named because of its diamond-like shape. The game is quite simple, as there are only nine players to watch at one time. When the ball is hit, they change position quickly, thus. Here's the pitch. It's a hit to right field. The runner starts for first base. The right fielder goes for the ball. The pitcher covers first. Second baseman pulls off base. Shortstop covers the bag. Center backs up right field. The left field goes to center and vice versa. The runner tries to stretch the hit for two bases. Here's the throw from field. The runner is out or safe for either or neither or both. Simple, isn't it? The player is an all-around athlete. The uniform is loose fitting to allow freedom of movement. The socks are what the team is named after. The pitcher, or hurler, is the most important man on the team. To the layman, the colorful actions of the pitcher may appear a trifle overdone. However, such is not the case. The wind-up, for instance, is very necessary. For pitching demands limber brains and well-coordinated muscles, not only in the throwing arm, but of the entire body, in order to achieve that bullet-like delivery of the ball. On the opposing team, we have the batter, who carefully selects his favorite stick or bat. Play starts when the batter hits the ball. Strangely enough, however, the pitcher tries to keep the batter from hitting the ball. To accomplish this, the pitcher holds the ball in such a manner as to cause it to curve when thrown. The inside curve, the outside curve, and the drop. And now we can fully appreciate that thrill of thrills, the World Series. It's the deciding game. It's the last half of the ninth inning, folks. Our pitcher is the hero of the day. And the count is three and two on the batter. The bases are loaded. The pitcher's in an awful spot, and the crowd is going crazy. The pitcher's tense. Oh, what? The batter's tense. The crowd is tense. It's up to the pitcher. A half million dollars and the World Series hinge on this pitch. It's a terrific hit. He literally knocked the horse hide off the old apple. The runner tears the first and the crowd is going absolutely mad. It's a high fly to center field. The outfielder comes in fast. The runner tears around first base. Here comes the ball and it looks like the fielder has it. But he dropped it. Here comes the runner towards second. There goes another man home, and the score is tied. There goes the winning runner on third. Here comes the ball. Run, man, run. It's a race for home plate. Slide, slide. This is going to be close. Well, folks, it's up to the umpire, that impartial pillar of judicial dignity whose word is law. He out. What do you mean? 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 Free speech, that great American privilege, is thoroughly enjoyed by players and spectators alike. That's why the national sport will always be that good old American game, baseball. Baseball!